The money tool is used to represent various amounts using Canadian coins and bills. It is available for both desktop and mobile devices. Represent an amount by dragging money from the cash drawer into the workspace. By default, currencies must be placed so that you can clearly see their value, otherwise the currency will bounce back to the cash drawer. This behavior can be adjusted in the settings. Adjust the size of the currency using these arrows. The cash drawer can be hidden to make more room. Or, the money can be repositioned so that the cash drawer can be reopened. Press the 123 button to show the labels which indicate the value of each type of currency. Press this button to change the units that are displayed from dollars to cents and back to dollars and cents. To hide the labels, press this button again. Click here to choose the types of currency that you want to have in the cash drawer. Let's remove all the bills and include the 50 cent piece. Notice that any bills that were already in the workspace remain. Drag any unwanted items to the recycle bin. The settings button provides another way to customize the appearance of the currency. Use the overlap setting to adjust the amount that the currencies in the workspace are allowed to overlap. The default setting of sum means that the value of each currency must be clearly visible. Otherwise, currencies will bounce back to the cash drawer. None means that no overlap is allowed. Currencies will bounce back if they touch each other in any way. All means that you can place currencies wherever you like, even directly on top of each other. You can also choose a different background color for the workspace. Press this button to restore the settings to their defaults. Use the annotation tool to make notes or explain your thinking. When you are done, press the pencil icon again to turn off annotation mode. For more information about how to use the drawing tools, view the annotation video, which can be accessed by pressing the I button. The I button provides access to videos, supports, and other mathematics learning tools. Finally, pressing the reset button returns the tool to its starting state.